everyone, so today I'm going to do a video about Marcy's Hideaways. This was a requested video by a friend. In um, some of my cage tours, you may have noticed that I used a few unorthodox items as a hamster hideaway. So first off, the reason why I decided to use different household items as hideaways is due to the fact that Marcy is a Syrian. When I initially got Marcy, the pet stores around me only had um, hideaways that were suitable size for a very young Syrian or an average dwarf hamster. I wanted to make sure that Marcy had an adequate nesting hideaway for her needs. So I went about on a search for a hideaway that would fit her size as a Syrian. There are a few things that I require from a hideaway for Marcy. Um, one, I need it to be hamster safe. Two, easy to clean. Three, the right size. Four, affordability. And five, as an optional aspect, aesthetics. It needs also to kind of look clean and well um, suited for her habitat. The very first hideaway that I had for Marcy was a Daiso food container. Since I noticed that Marcy was living in one of those plastic igloos when I got her, I decided to start her out with this. It is of a decent size, easy to clean, affordable since it was only for a dollar. And personally to me, I liked how it looked versus the plastic igloo that I found in pet stores. The only problem that I had with this hideaway was that um, well, nowadays, Marcy likes to chew on anything her pink paws can get a hold of. But um, when she was younger, for some reason, she didn't chew that much. So this hut was, um, this hut worked well for her when she was young. But now I can't really use it that much because she'll just chew the plastic, which I feel is unsafe. The next hut I obtained was a green ceramic oil warmer. Yes, an oil warmer. Um, it met all the requirements that I needed out of a hideaway. It was only a dollar from Daiso. It was um, easy to clean. It's made of a sturdy ceramic, and I really loved how it looked in Marcy's habitat. The next alternative was a popsicle stick hut. It's affordable, affordable, easy to make, aesthetically pleasing, since it gives that natural look to uh, Marcy's habitat. I really like the fact that it is also a boredom breaker since she can chew her heart's content. However, the downside to having such a hut is that if it becomes soiled with urine, I would have to throw it away. But luckily, since the materials are so cheap, it was easy to make again and again, and thus adding variety to her habitat. The next item that I used to make her hideaway was a yogurt lamb paper cup. Now, this wasn't one of my brilliant ideas, but I wanted to give it a try since I noticed other people doing something similar by making their huts out of tissue boxes and cups and things like that. So I thought I would see if Marcy would enjoy this type of hut. Unfortunately, it was way too flimsy and it would be easily flipped over. Now I just use it for um, as a play toy for Marcy. I just put it in her playpen, but basically this was an epic fail on my part in terms of having a hideaway, so I wouldn't recommend such an item. Another great hut that would seem unorthodox would be this label maker tube. You have seen this item in previous cage tours. If I prop this up against a wall and reinforce the sides with bedding, it provides a fast-made, affordable, hamster-safe hideaway for Marcy. The only thing that I would look out for is that um, if it becomes soiled with urine, you would have to throw it away because it makes a great haven for bacteria when wet. Another great hideaway that I have for Marcy is this ceramic ducky hideaway. I found this at a 99 cent store. It used to be a loofah holder, but um, taking out the loofah, I found it a perfect hideaway for a hamster. I haven't really shown this in many cage tours, and that's because this was supposed to be for my future dwarf hamster, but I caved into Marcy's cuteness and I allowed her to play with it. So now, um, she uses it as a hideaway in her hut sometimes, but since it has no ventilation, I can only let Marcy nap in it or lay in it when it's hot. If I allow her to nest in it, she'll cover the opening with bedding and I'm afraid that isn't enough ventilation for her. And I don't want her to get overheated or have trouble sleeping because it's so warm inside there. Um, so I don't really permanently place this in her cage, I only put it in every once in a while. Um, and last, I have these larger ceramic oil warmers that are only 3 to $5 at Big Lots. These can also be found at Walmart. They are large enough for Syrians, easy to clean, aesthetically pleasing. Um, currently, Marcy is using one as her nest in her bin cage. I highly recommend this item as a hideaway for your hamster, especially if you choose to go a different route from your typical brand pet store hideaways. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this was helpful. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks again, guys. Bye!